Spoiler alert, I'm really excited about this one. The wait for the pre-order has ended and now the wait for the statue to get here begins. This is Prime 1, The Murder Machine. Welcome to Gotham. Xenobites. Completely different zip code. So welcome, welcome YouTube, this is the Gotham Gavel, you've clicked on Gotham Cenobites, I'm Terry, and we are in <laughs> session, the murder machine, man, I was really wanting this pre-order to come, but I didn't know it was going to come like the week after I launched that video, nonetheless, um, spoiler alert, I'm doing this. A little bit later than I usually do on Prime 1 announcements, so yeah, I have already pre-ordered it. <laughs> so it's going to get the Gotham stamp of approval. But today we are going to go over all the pictures of uh, Prime 1's latest pre-order, The Murder Machine from the Dark Knight's Metal series. My final piece of this puzzle is officially in my pre-order list from Prime 1. So we'll be going over all the pictures, and then all the specs, and then of course um, pricing, and then I will show you what I was quoted in North Florida of what the shipping is now. It's probably going to change like Devastator did, but I'll show you what it is with today's standards shipping, and uh, yeah, murder machine. <laughs> Let's get to it. Alrighty, so here we go, pictures, and I haven't looked at these God, since yesterday morning, so I made a few of these, so we'll, we'll see. So this first picture, um, you see, normally we're going to go through the regular first, and then later we're just going to show you what the difference is between, or what extra you get with the deluxe. So yeah, I mean, this is a pretty, pretty damn good uh, picture. They really saved the best for last, but getting into it. This, I don't know, the picture in the middle, man, it really struck me by surprise. I mean, I knew we were able to see that spinning rotation whenever the statue was first shown, but it really, I really did not, you know, remember it being this deep. Like, it, it's, it's going to be, oh, I can't wait. <laughs> but this is the whole statue. I um, mean, at the front, the side, and the back. And I love how they made the base. Um, the watchtower like after a murder machine takes over from cyborg in that uh, particular universe which by the way murder machine is from a, a negative earth negative 44 I believe he's from but yeah I, I love the base and if you see his comic I really was wondering because he's like this small so I was like what the hell are they gonna do with the base and this outstanding outstanding decision in this next picture, um, we're seeing um, close-ups on the chest, the back, and just how mechanical it is. And this thing, uh, it looks amazing. I really hope the production turns out like this. I mean, I don't, I don't think any of this line has disappointed. 
but still. Um, this is going to be the first light up of the entire freaking line. As you see the picture on the right. Um, one of the the Alfred's hands are going to light up. A um, bunch of switch outs. But yeah. This next picture is a look at the regular portrait. You're going to get this with both versions, but this is what you see, what you get with the regular. This is the only one you get. Which it's still, it looks pretty, it looks pretty badass. I like it more now than when it was first shown. But yeah, this is another picture of it. It's like out of the side profile. I mean, it's, yeah. You can't go wrong with this being the regular. Alright, so moving right in, and this is what I was talking about. This is the base, and I'll show a picture up here, like right next to it. Um, this is what the watchtower looks like after it gets taken over. I, I love that decision. Decision with the base. This next pick, as we're seeing the other Alfred on the other side, his hand lights up. And if you know the story, the Alfreds on the base makes a lot more sense to you. Um, if you don't, I mean, wait till the statue gets here, and I am going to go full in detail in that review. Um, or you can go look up Variant. Um, they, they do a pretty good job with these things as well. But moving on, this is another shot um, of the other Alfred. I think there's three total on the statue. But yeah, I can't wait to see what this looks like on the shelf. Um, I'm hoping the base is plugged in, but um, we'll see. Alright, so this next picture, we're looking at everything that LED illuminates. Um, the arms, um, I reached out to someone in, or I reached out to the Prime 1 um, Facebook group, and I got a pretty quick response. It was like the, one of the first questions I had in the group that actually went through. And um, just listening to him, I, I don't think um, the murder machine's hands are going to be plugged in. They're probably because they're switch outs. But you'll see the other hands here in a minute. I don't think they're going to be plugged in. I think they're going to be battery. But I think um, the base will probably end up being plugged in. And that's probably going to be the only thing that I light up. Because, I mean, I'm, I'll, I'll be fine with just the Alfred lighting up. But yes, that is going to conclude the regular. This is everything it comes with, everything we've already gone over. One portrait, and the hands that light up. You're only going to get hands with the regular murder machine. So we're moving right in um, to the deluxe. And yes, this one's going to come with my favorite portrait. So this first pick is a pretty much a, a right there in the middle. Um, the smiling portrait. Man, that's got to be definitely the best option for the statue. And it's the reason I went for the deluxe. Normally, you know me, I'm fine. My Harley who laughs is the regular. But there was no way I couldn't get the smiling portrait. But um, as you see in the pictures to the left and the right, swappable parts, you're going to get the weird tentacle hand and the, the blade hand swap outs as well. Alright, and this next picture, you're going to see all three swap outs. Well, two swap outs. I included the side profile picture again just because I, mean, I, I love the side profile of the statue. Man, I can't wait to have this in person. Plus, you know, uh, you got the sentinel arm in the middle from the Matrix, the blade arm. Um, I can't see myself ever displaying the blade arm. I think it's going to be, you know, Iron Man's pulsar hand or the sentinel from the Matrix. But um, yeah, I, I can't get over enough how much I love the way this side profile looks. Uh, I can't wait to have this thing. And all right, we're getting into some pictures of the deluxe, so the statue with the deluxe portrait on it. And yeah, it's looking all kinds of menacing. Yeah, one more picture here. This is the smiling portrait. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I know I've said it many times, but man, when they showed this thing, uh, there's no way. But um, here's another picture of it, and I, I ordered this one just because. I mean, I mean, it looks menacing enough from the front, but when it, you know, you can see it kind of on the side. I mean. It does. It looks. It looks amazing. And I don't know if they're gonna have the statue himself light up. Um, well, actually, I mean, if they would have, they probably would have said it in the LED illumination. So, unfortunately, um, but yeah, I mean, the red lights in the base that would be cool too. I mean, probably one if you're listening, at least have the red lights in the base light up. Anyways, we are where we are. We have reached 
the end of the deluxe. This is everything it's going to come with. Two portraits, um, the matrix hand, the blade hand, but yeah, additional swap outs. But alas, I digress, since Prime 1, so we all know what that means. There's a bonus part. This one, I could do without, but um, I'm, it's going to come with the statue I ordered, though. And this is the, the one with the, the frown. Um, when I do the unboxing, we're going to take a look at all of them. And I'm going to look at it on the wall with all of these heads on there. But I can imagine this is the one that's probably going to get put away. It looks, it looks amazing, but yeah, as you see here, limited 350, and then here, this next picture is a close-up um, of this portrait as well, and uh, yeah, it looks cool, I mean, I, I want to say in the comics, he has this frown on his face a lot more than anything, but um, but yeah, here's the, uh, the side profile of the frown, and I mean, you can't go wrong with this one either, but um, when you have the other two options, I don't know. This isn't this not my bag. <laughs> but all right, so now we are getting in um, to measurements, and as you see, there's two different measurements because because um, the one in the middle here you're going to see is a deluxe. So when you have the Sentinel arm, it's going to be a little bit different. So we'll do with the regular. Um, the 85 centimeters translates into 33 and a half inches tall. So whether you get the regular or deluxe, 33 and a half inches tall. The width is what is different, and it's 49 centimeters on the regular, which is 19.3 inches wide. And on the deluxe, because of the matrix hand, it's going to be 58 centimeters, which is 22.8. So about three and a half inches um, wider with the matrix hand. And um, the depth, no matter what, um, we just you know found out the 58 centimeters is 22.8 inches deep no matter which version you get and uh, so getting into price you see the regular version here 15.99 i would have hoped it's a little bit less or around the same no around the same as harley but um i digress i mean there is a light-up feature so the base is probably going to be LED, usb hopefully and then you are going to have um, a couple arm swap outs that are you know battery operated but still it's a light up so I guess I give you okay. I, th I think it's about 150 to 200 dollars more than the regular version of Harley Who Laughs. But the deluxe, 200 dollars more. You get two portraits. You get the blade and the matrix hand. I think if you're in on it, you got to go with the deluxe. And me, I'm I'm a I'm a spokesman for getting the regular version. I got the regular version of Devastator coming. But I I think with this one. You gotta have that smile. <laughs> so you gotta you gotta go with the DX at least for that. But um, the seventeen ninety nine for the deluxe, and you only have a um, edition size of three fifty, so or three forty nine because I got one. <laughs> and as we see here, the pre order says it's going to ship April of next year to July of next year. I'd be ecstatic if they stick to that, but um. Come on, Prime One. You know you're you already. I can feel your itching to be done with this line. <laughs> so, uh, I hope it comes early. But um, but yeah. So that is going. To, wait, 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 wait. I didn't tell you. Here's my shipping. So you see, uh, going from Prime One to Florida, I'm being quoted right now seven ninety one standard, which is the plane. I think one to three. I don't think it says it on there. Oh, it does. One to three weeks. Or you can pay the 412 for one to three months. Now, I'm, collectively on the community, I've never, at least recently, haven't heard it taking three or more months. But um, I'll gladly save $300 and wait a month to three months. But um, so yeah, there you see that is that is the Gotham gavel from my long anticipated murder machine. Um, Pre-orders here. <laughs> like I said, now we just gotta. Begin that slow crawl until the statue gets here. And if you didn't know, now you know it is the Gotham <coughs> stamp of approval. So that is going to do it for this one. Um, if you like the video, hit the like button, please. If you uh, subscribe if you want to. And this is the part where I always like to grab this and you know, give it back to you. What do you guys think of the murder machine? I know I've been talking to a few people 
who are in on this this statue, even having none of the others, just because of how um, robotic it looks. Obviously, it's the cyborg Batman um, Knight and the Dark Knights. Um, but yeah, I mean, even if you don't have any of the other ones, if you're a Batman fan, a sci-fi fan, I really feel like this would still be a pretty dope, awesome piece in any collection. But that's just me. I am thousand percent bias. I accept that. But uh, yeah, you guys let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, let me know who's all pre-ordering this. <laughs> I'd love to see it. And that is going to do it for this one. Um, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. I do have another gavel planned um, for tomorrow. Um, at least from when this airs. And we're going to dial it back to Hot Toys. We're going to talk about... The Hot Toys Black Manta. But uh, I don't want to say anything. I'm going to save it all for that video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you. And I will catch you on the next one.